Hi, I'm Jessie, a UK-based illustrator and lettering artist, specialising in nostalgic, botanical illustration and Victorian-style lettering. I've been fortunate enough to work with wonderful clients across luxury British food and drinks brands. Today I'd like to show you some painting techniques for a jasmine loose leaf tea packaging design project. I like to use Winsor & Newton A4 gummed watercolour paper as this is great for fitting in the scanner when producing commercial work for clients. I'm sketching out some rough jasmine flowers and foliage using Winsor & Newton graphite pencils. Keep in mind the end shape of the space where the pattern is going to sit. I love the milky texture of gouache. It's great for nostalgic style packaging design. I'm working with Winsor & Newton designers gouache. I tend to put down a substantial amount of zinc white on the palette first, as most of the overall colour palette will be pastel. I'm just adding a small blob of primary red and spectrum red, and then ultramarine, permanent green middle, yellow ochre, and permanent yellow deep. Keep in mind that the gouache goes far further than watercolour and dries quite quickly, so you only need a pea-sized amount of each colour. I'm mixing permanent yellow deep with primary red and zinc white to make a warm pink for the flowers. Using a size 1 round watercolour brush, I'm laying down the pink petals quite roughly. I like to vary the brush dryness as it creates a nice texture. Now I'm mixing the permanent green middle with a touch of ultramarine and a little yellow ochre, adding zinc white till it's a nice earthy sage colour. Using a size 1 round brush, I'm colouring the leaves and stem and with a lighter green, adding some detail to the leaves. With yellow ochre, a little primary red and zinc white, I'm adding the detail to the middle of the flowers and adding the little yellow dots. For the typography, I've outlined the word jasmine in graphite pencil in preparation for adding the colour. When the gouache is touched dry, around five to 10 minutes, I'll add loose brush strokes with ivory black gouache. I'm using zinc white to add some final highlights to the packaging design. Finally, I'm removing the pencil lines with an eraser so that the design can be scanned and prepared for artwork. I hope you enjoyed this video.